Hello everyone. For Steam Next Fest, February 2024, I played the Bellatro demo. Bellatro is a poker hand deck builder developed by Local Thunk. If you're familiar with poker, the game is simple. You start with a standard deck of 52 cards, and you'll be drawing 8 cards at a time. Your goal is to have successful poker hands. Doing so gets you points, and you'll need a certain number of points to win a round. Now you only have a limited number of hands, and you can discard cards a couple of times to help yourself out. If you don't know what poker hands are, the game does make that information available to you. You'll just have more of a learning curve to deal with. Between rounds, you earn currency, which you can use to buy upgrades. You can purchase jokers, which offer passive upgrades, like even cards are worth double now. You can purchase card upgrades, so you can make a specific card worth double. You can purchase poker hand upgrades, so you get more points every time you play two pair, for example. As a deck builder, the fundamentals are all there. You're making decisions about your deck between rounds, building an engine so that you can make decisions about your cards during rounds. There's plenty of depth to be found here. Honestly, it doesn't take much to nail the deck builder formula, and the developers definitely nailed it here. The innovation is found mainly in Bellatro's use of poker cards. It relies on your existing knowledge of poker to ramp up your learning of how the game works. If you already know how to play poker, the rest of the game falls into place very easily. The gameplay is smooth. The graphics and atmosphere are well done, the music is chill, and there's definitely enough components here to keep things fresh for a long time. I like the pixel style, and while I wouldn't say it's 100% perfect, for an indie game it's well executed. I do worry that this game would get repetitive. At the core of the game, you're still playing poker hands. Other deck builders, you generally switch out decks, you pick a new class, stuff like that. It remains to be seen if that applies here. Would I recommend this game? Personally, I bounced off of it. I like deck builders, but the poker elements didn't really hook me. And what I would say is, if you like poker and deck builders, and the idea of them together intrigues you, definitely check it out. I think you'll like it. It's a good representation of the idea, and it is well executed. If you just like poker, it might be worth trying the demo anyway. Give it a shot, see what you think. If you like neither poker nor deck builders, ah, there's nothing for you here, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments.